hey welcome back uh, in this video we will work over this edit product link because you can see uh, when we mm, uh, hover mouse over here so you can uh, observe over here uh, with the link the product ID is associated and coming over there appearing you can see so when we click this link so the product sh must be deleted ba basically so we can simply uh, do something like uh, I mean this page is now okay edit underscore product dot php so we will just close it and also view products okay this we can uh, later on need this we may li we may later uh, need this page I mean view underscore products dot php so we will keep that here now actually we have given uh, the link over here inside the view products page you know you can see and it is taking the person to delete underscore pro dot php that simply means the product id is associated with that post so we can simply create a page from here file menu and new and we'll simply start php starting block then php and uh, close after that we will simply create a uh, you know we'll say if is set dollar underscore get and inside the curly brackets they said dollar underscore get delete pro that is basically the URL variable that we have given there so delete product delete underscore pro means if that is clicked so uh, in here we will just create a variable delete id is equal to dollar underscore get and that will be equal to delete uh, sorry delete pro so control s to save control s to save this page delete underscore pro dot php so actually when that is active this uh, URL variable so we have created a local variable and using the get method we are just catching that ID and saving inside this local variable now we'll simply create the query we'll say uh, because we need this specific ID in order to delete a specific post uh, product from the table so we'll say mm, delete underscore pro will be equal to here we will write an SQL query inside the two double quotes delete from products where product underscore ID is equal to delete ID delete that row which is I mean equal to where product ID is equal to this coming one and now we will say run underscore delete Will, will be equal to mysqli equal to query and here we have the connection and then delete underscore pro as a reference variable and we need to actually include the database as well include includes folder inside that we have db.php page set to list to save and now if when if run delete has taken place that is executed then what to do we'll say inside the if statement echo javascript start and close we'll give an alert and we'll say a product a product has been deleted that's it and after that we can once again echo and just redirect the person to view products page so we can see that the products either the products product has been deleted or not simply a self window will be here and after that uh, index.php view underscore product products that is the variable that we have given so it will directly redirect there 
control is to save and now check out that's just refresh the page and click this one which is new laptop one two three a product has been deleted it is saying uh, in a alert box using javascript ok and that product is no longer there just you can delete another one ok that is also deleted click another one is also deleted now you can see only six uh, products are remaining and those are also deleted from this main website if you delete one more product product has been deleted ok that has gone now refresh again your page you can see there is only five products are remaining and five are here one two three four five so that's done now this was uh, easier part so in the next video we will come back and we'll work on the insert new category we'll create a form and through that we will insert categories directly from this admin panel stay tuned